Miss Kitana and Dash, get out. Why are you so naughty? You guys, why have you dug a hole underneath the fence? Hi, Miss Kitana. Come on. Come back. James, come on. <laughs> guys. Come on, Dash. Come on, buddy. Uh -uh, Lady Emelina. Darcy. Kitana, what are you doing over there? Don't dig another hole. You gotta stop going to the neighbor's house, guys. <laughs> Kitana, breaking off that little piece of grass will not help you get through. Kitana, come on. Come on, babes. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Melina, good girl, Kitana. Come on, Darcy. Come on, Darcy. We don't have anything to put over this hole. Look at this huge hole that these guys have dug underneath the fence. You guys are so naughty. Miss Kitana, it's like 7 in the morning. So right now we're on our way to the vets. Dash and Kitana are getting this set so they're not going to be having any more babies. And we of course don't want Dash to get his daughters pregnant. So they're going to get done. We also have to go to Isaac's appointment today. So hopefully we get some good news. Kitana. <laughs> She's not happy. So we just dropped off Dash and Kitana at the vets for their dissecting surgery and we couldn't stay for their whole physical examination because we're running late for Isaac's appointment. I thought that we were supposed to just drop them off and I didn't know we had to wait till they call our name so we're running a bit late. I've already called the place that we have to take Isaac to but um, they said it's okay because the um, doctor's also running a bit late as well so hopefully everything goes well and we just find out that Isaac's just growing uneven. I'm just so worried if they tell us that something is wrong. I'm filming the road. Okay, you film. Sorry, I didn't realise you were filming. But do you know that the side of the video? Yeah, I said that was funny. Is Daddy ruining your video? Yeah, he ruined my video. I didn't know you were filming. Yes, yeah, the video is about the women. And we are going to for real minutes. And let's see him in the road for a couple of
was average and the doctor had a bit of concern with the four centimetre increase in the two months from four months to six months and then when he did measure his head he actually grew another centimetre in the last two to three weeks so the doctor's worried if any fluid is building up in his skull. Who is a chicky boy? Hey. Ow. Who is a chicky boy? Ow. I'm sick. This is why I don't put my hair out often. My hair's already breaking so much and you're breaking more off. <laughs> Haven't I lost enough hair? Say ha ha mum. Oh. So I just called the vet to see how Dash and Kitana are doing. They're both doing really well. Dash actually woke up from the anesthetic quite early and Kitana's still a bit sleepy but she's doing well. I'm assuming she got a lot more anesthetic than Dash did as Dash's dissexing is a lot easier and simple. It's just a bit of a snip where Kitana gets the whole cut in her stomach and gets the whole uterus removed. So Dash could actually come home tonight if we wanted to pick him up. But Kitana has to spend the night, so we thought we'd keep them both of them there for the night. It would make it a lot easier because Dash has got quite a bit of separation anxiety from Kitana. The last time Matthew took Kitana for a walk by herself for about 20 minutes or so, Dash didn't do so well. He spent his whole time looking for her all over the house, under the bed, everywhere in the cupboards, in the bathroom, everywhere, even outside. And he just kept running around and crying and howling and barking just looking for her everywhere. I tried to distract him with treats and toys. Even his favorite toys and treats, he didn't want anything until we saw Kitana. And for three days straight, he wouldn't let Kitana out of his sight. If she went outside, he would have to follow her. Even going off the balcony somewhere on the other side of the house, he had to follow her everywhere. And it, he did that for three days straight. So I don't know how well he would do a whole night without Kitana. 20 minutes was traumatizing for him. <laughs> So anyways, I told them that I'll come and pick him up quite early in the morning, probably between 9 and 10 when we wake up and the vet's open. And I really can't wait to see my guys. I miss them so much. So Jacob and I are going grocery shopping. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah to get some prizes and get some presents. <laughs> prizes and presents? We're going to get groceries. And presents too. Groceries. We need food, buddy.
be quiet. Mm. Looks like I'm in jail. I'm not. We have some milk and some bread and my bread. We have some sugar and a penny. So Jacob and Matthew spent most of today cleaning up Jacob's room and when I mean Matthew and Jacob cleaning up his room I mean Matthew doing most of the work and Jacob just playing with his toys. So anyways his room was so messy that you couldn't even walk into his room let alone close the door. So I think Matthew did a pretty good job. So we just got to the vets and I'm so excited. I can't wait to pick him up. Are you excited, Jacob? Yeah! So we just got home from picking up Dash and Kitana. Their dissexing cost $700, so $350 each. And it actually went up by almost $50 because Dash has destroyed his muzzle. Like he's chewed it. He's never destroyed it. So I don't know if they put it on properly or not for him to be able to get his mouth through it to chew it or what happened, but he's destroyed his muzzle. And on top of that, they destroyed one of their leads that I gave him because um, they decided to hang it like where their kennel thing was and Dash got it through and chewed on it, but that's okay. It was a cheap one that I got for like two or three dollars or something, so that was okay, but $50 to replace this muzzle. So other than that, everything went well. Dash and Kitana had a little bit to eat and they said I can give them a small meal when we get home. And they're just on some pain relief tablets for three days, so once a day. Other than that, everything else went well, and I'm so glad to have him home. I wonder how Letty and Melina are going to react to seeing Dash and Kitana again. Melina, are you telling them how much you miss them? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Kitana, you've got stitches, honey. Get out of the water. Kitana, I think they missed you a lot, honey. Letty, stop licking her stitches. Melina, stop it. I just said to not lick her stitches. Darcy, stop. So these are the pain tablets that Dash and Kitana are on for pain and I find these chocolates in the supermarket, they're very inexpensive, I think they're about like two or three dollars from Woolworths and they have little chocolate button kind of things and they're very easy to mould so a life hack that I use to give my dogs their tablets, I sandwich it between some treats and then just give it to them as a treat and they just eat it. If I try and put it down their throat or put it in their food, Kitana, she's on these little tiny blue tablets and if I put it in her food, she'll eat all her food and leave the two tablets in there so I can't just leave it in her food to eat or if I do give it to, and put it down her throat, half the time she'll either throw it up or she won't swallow it and then as soon as I walk away from her, she spits out the tablet but this way she does eat it and because these tablets can go in their food, it's okay for me to sandwich it in the treat. You give him his tablet? Yeah, Good boy. Are we getting 
Okay. She just wants a treat. She thinks it's a treat, but really it's medication. I want to use the heart. Make it you and your medicine from in the tree. Dash, I filled up the small one so you wouldn't be able to fit into it and you get into there. Kitana! Get out! So Matthew and I got into a little bit of an argument earlier today, so with his apology came donuts. Jacob and I don't eat this donut and I know Matthew does, so I'm going to tenderize his donut. Have your medicine Shake. and Miss Kitana. Shake, honey. It's the other one. My dad gets all for She might still be in a lot of pain from yesterday. I mean, day before. Yeah. We practice hard. We made it a nice and with your treat. And you boys just sweet. So right now we're about to leave to go to Isaac's ultrasound. Hopefully we get some good news. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hopefully everything is okay with your little baby brother. So the guy that was doing Isaac's ultrasound said everything looked fine but you'll obviously have to get everything reviewed by a doctor and we won't get our results till next week I think on the 28th or 29th which is a Wednesday or the Thursday and then I've rescheduled my doctor's appointment that was supposed to be for tomorrow for Isaac to next week Friday which is the 30th so hopefully next week we'll find out all our results after Christmas. Right now we just got to the shops. We're going to get Jacob and Isaac's photo taken with Santa because I've been so um, stressed out with everything that's been going on with Isaac. We haven't even gotten their photo taken. So we're going to do that three days before Christmas. 